Hello to everyone, Denis Kozer here. In this video I want to show you how to create this image step by step. First of all, let's create the plane. I will make it in the front view. Here we need to type in the size of this image. So for me it will be 2120 by 1271. Next I just drag and drop this image on the plane so I can use it as a reference. Next we need to create some box I will make it maybe 30 centimeters width and uh, here we need to adjust the length or the height of this box and it will be 28 2080 centimeters next I affect pivot point of the um, image sorry this affect pivot only and we need to put it on the um, corner of uh, this box so to see it clearly I will make this box uh, as a um, see-through object so effect pivot only to the corner here all right next move this plane to this and then just scale it up so them both now 280 centimeters height next I convert this box to the editable poly next uh, make some adjustments some easy modeling to make something interesting and simple as you can see I use connect extrude moving vertices and uh, these few tools allows me to create most part of this form next we can use some symmetry modifier adjust it so it looks interesting and um, can move this backward next just a copy of this like that here and the height maybe like this all right next we need a few box here let's make it and the next one 
here as a copy and I will put it here this here and this maybe here all right now we need to create some plane for the ground after that I will create physical camera and set it as a normal to the architectural form so as you can see x-axis and for camera and for target are the same so it have no distortion in the perspective next we need to put the camera and the form to the plane like this or we can add some another box like this all right and uh, move it up so it seems like this I can hide and uh, the next important thing is to set up HDRI HDRI map I will load up with Corona bitmap HDRI I will use some from these people all right next eight hotkey to open environment and effects you can find it here drag and drop HDRI map to this slot next you need also here to change from physical exposure to no exposure control after that go to the rendering setup here in the performance change to path tracing next we can adjust the camera so it fit nice and correctly you also can change the output size to is I will use full HD so you can also use this frame size and uh, make the composition I will move my camera down a little bit so I can see this ceiling maybe like this next we can start interactive you can watch my video on YouTube on how to make this current toolbar and uh, next we need to override material to the gray so we can paint it later in the Photoshop all right here you can adjust the exposure maybe one and five 
you can also change white balance a little bit and when you see in the interactive that it's okay you can add some render elements they will be useful later so in the render setups F10 hotkey go to the render elements add wire color masking ID and C shading alpha ok next just push the render and here we go we have these nice render elements so we can use them as a mask in the photoshop and we also have the beauty pass before we continue i will also set up the denoising as full denoise and uh, resume last render after maybe 10 or 20 passes you can stop this render and uh, we will continue in the photoshop if you like this video and want some more please subscribe on my channel write some comments you can also make some offers for the next lessons i will very appreciate this see you soon bye